All righty. John Riggs here. How you feeling? Got my PlayStation Classic up and running. But this game isn't on the PlayStation Classic. Wait a minute. What's the, what's going on here? What's this all about? <laughs> yeah, they made a Pe Pepsi Man game in uh, Japan. It's actually pretty fun too. Let me let me play a little bit of this, and I'll show you how you can access your own. Uh... I love the old FMBs. Hey, let's start the game. So you can play ISOs off of a thumb drive, like a USB drive, with a couple of things. I'll show you how to do that here, right quick. Or at least point you in the right direction. You gotta get just at the... But first, I gotta play me some Pepsi Man, just for a second, anyway. It's been a long time since I played this last. Ugh. Alright. <laughs> anyway, there's also a script as part of this. Hit select and triangle at the same time, and you'll access that menu, so you don't need a keyboard if you don't have a keyboard that works. I didn't have a keyboard that works. Uh, the PSX menu, load CD image, got Pepsi Man. I tried Patapon for the uh, PSP, did not work. Yeah, it was just, I thought I would give it a shot anyway. But then games like Parappa the Rapper. Doesn't seem to be one of working either. It was working a second ago. There we go, a little Castlevania Symphony of the Night. That was one of the biggest complaints. I was like, ah, you don't have me have Castlevania on here? Come on now. How are you going to have a PlayStation Classic not include Castlevania Symphony of the Night? Arguably the best Castlevania game of all Castlevania games. A little story, the um, the CGI at the beginnings. A little dated by today's standards, but still pretty cool. Did you ever uh, try to get it so it looked like that? So it wasn't all like scrolling and rotating? There you go, look at this. Looks like it's pretty, running pretty well to me. There is going to be a controller lag. Something to keep in mind. Again, just hit those. And we'll try one more while we're here perennial favorite of mine however this game unfortunately like Parappa like any other rhythm games and I knew this would be the case it's the reason why you wouldn't get Parappa the Rapper on the classic uh, with the emulation lag it won't work I mean it's, your, your timing will be way off where you think you have like great timing now if your timing sucks maybe it'll, maybe, maybe it'll make it even better for you I don't know I've always liked this game, though. I'll show you what I'm talking about. That's right. Oh, come on now, I gotta go with a, uh, gotta go with Hero. Hero Kun, he's called the Japanese one. This one, he's a hero. All right. And you have to hit the button on the fourth beat. And I'll show you here in the corner about how the timing works. Watch this. Let's see. But if I do it like a half of a step, see what I mean? But it's not the game. It's not going to do you any good. So anyway, let me exit all the way out and I'll show you what happened here. So I was doing this through... You could, I was doing it through this one, but you can do it through any of them. Here's your standard issue setup. Go into any of the games, doesn't really matter. And that's when you access the menu by doing the that right there. Hit your PC SX. Get you some couple of options here. And then you load the CD image. Now, when you load the CD image, it has, you know, file names. And in the link I'll show you, and I, I saw this from a few different sources, a couple of YouTube channels, 
on Reddit as well. And I wasn't actually going to play with this yet. Um, because it's still unstable. And it's still, like, not optimal. Like, I'd like it to see, like, the, the menu screen with all the pictures of the games, you know, like, the album covers and all that, the CD covers. I was hoping something like that would happen sooner than later. Um, I didn't really want to mess with it too much until it was a little bit more optimized. But then when I saw a couple of channels, um, Matt Little Pixel being one of them, saying that he played around with it a bunch and, you know, didn't have a whole lot of issue. I was like, oh, you know what? If, you know, if, if he's getting around to it and checking it out... I may as well, too. And there's a couple of other YouTube channels. I'm certainly not the first. Um, I remember seeing it on Reddit, I think, yesterday. Um, but I was like, ah, I'll get to it later. I'm playing Smash, you know. <laughs> um, in fact, I'll link to Mad Little Pixel's channel um, just because he has two videos on how to get it set up because it's a file you download. You put it on, uh, put it on a USB drive. You download the file, put it on a USB drive, um, up -zip, unzip the uh, zip file, and then you um, can load your games into it. Now, you can load one game with the album cover so it actually shows up. Like, it actually says, you know, Castlevania Symphony of the Night right on the screen. Um, or you can do it this way. And I'm okay doing it this way. So you can do, like, left and right. We'll choose your thing. So you want to go to the... Uh, I was just in media. And then over here, never mind my other thing. Like, here's my... my you know, this is the same thumb drive I use for my PlayStation 4. None of, the, none of this is going to work, right? Um... We have the games, and then there's the 21 folder, and then this is where you put your games. Now, you got the bin file, which is basically the, the image, and then the Q file is the what tells the game where to go. So these aren't going to load up for you. Do that, it'll say, uh, no, unsupported. So you got to go back to games. And never mind the fact that I have a little star folder. If you know why I have that, then... <laughs> Shout out to you. I had to at least test it out for myself, you know. Uh, bin, bin, bin. That was another PSP file. Didn't work, so... I was like, man, there's got to be a way to play PSP games on here. Maybe there still is. I don't know. All right, so we have the bins. And we have the ISO. And the ISO worked. That's that's what I loaded uh, Pepsi Man from. More bins. And then we have the Q. That's where I had that one. Then there's Castlevania. There's Parappa. Same idea with Busta Groove. I mean, I could load it up, but it's not going to be any good. Um, although you can see where the delay is. Uh, it's, a good, it's a good half a second delay, so it's going to throw you off every time. But then here's this queue. Let's see if I can load this up. And again, it's still running the same emulator as a Raspberry Pi. So given the option, you can still just play a Pi. And it's the same thing, you know? Oh, I had to check this out. I was, I was chatting with someone on uh, Twitter recently about this game. I was like, man, that was a lot of fun. This was It was New Japan Pro Wrestling. It even kind of looks like the New Japan logo. It's been a long time since i played this game. Good lord. Sure. So, but then your, um, your characters, like, Chain Gang, Malibu Mike, I think that was, um, you know, uh, I don't know, like there's Tenzan, probably. I don't know, that's probably Kensei Sasaki, right? Or maybe, maybe this was a uh, great mood, uh, I don't know, Scott Norton. This might be this might be great, Muda. <laughs> Such a dated wrestling game. Yeah, total total New Japan. Yeah, here. Yeah. Oh my goodness! <laughs> but uh, the uh, the PlayStation SmackDown games are really good on here. Um, WCW versus the World. I had a lot of fun with that one too. That was based on uh, Virtual Pro Wrestling. Um, and then all the great imports. Gives you a chance to play um, LSD, that um, the Lucid Dream Simulator, or whatever. <laughs> Alright, let's back up again. And again, you can go through and do all the controllers and the cheats and the extra stuff and all that. I haven't really played around with any of that really, because I'm not that I'm afraid it's going to blow anything up, but. I'm afraid he's going to blow something up. 
<laughs> you know, oh, you know what? Just, uh, just before we leave here, and I thank you for your attention. Again, um, you can do a quick search of like a play, you know PlayStation Classic hack. You'll you'll see how to do it. You'll see what to do. You don't have to open up anything. It's super easy to do. All it takes is a, a USB drive to download that file and then find your own ROMs. That's up to you, really. And it's too bad, too, because, like, the audio and the video are fine. Like, they're in sync with each other. Oh, that's a little sketchy. <laughs> a little freeze there. Gonna, gonna prove me wrong, right? Me, Love this game. Yeah, this, is, this will be a good way to, for you to see what I'm talking about. So watch watch when I hit the button. See. <laughs> see what I mean? All right. So thanks for watching. And again, link in the description below if you want to see how to do it yourself. Thank you. Take care, buddy.